Hello, January 1st, 2023. Wow. My name is Coach B. I'm coming to you from Word Fed, Spirit Led. And uh, whew, it's a different, different environment. You all can tell there's a shift. There's a shift that has taken place coming into this new year. Um, I went out with my mom uh, just for a hot second. And it's like, you can tell the separation it's intensified uh and i believe on a daily those with spiritual discernment can tell uh who is in the body with the lord and who is separated uh from the lord and uh, i've just been getting a lot of happy new years and it's it's a new day new year new day but i believe that you know and i sent i'm gonna I'm read to you what i actually sent out uh to the people who were texting me happy new year because even when it was the christmas season we can get so used to going oh merry christmas happy holidays merry christmas and the lord has put on my heart to be mindful that not everybody is merry and not everybody is happy and uh it's just something to discern you know because it could literally be offensive to, to some people because it could bring them back to their situation or back to their mindset. And then it just harbors in them like, I am not married. I am not happy, you know, and this is where uh, spiritual awareness and discernment is going to be very important going into this new year, because as children of God, as, as uh, workers of light, as the servants, the hands and feet of Jesus, these are things that we're really going to have to be able to pick up on. But if we're not being led by the spirit, we're not going to be able to observe or even hear the Holy Spirit telling us what this person needs. You know, it could be a smile, just a smile. It could be a, hi, how are you? You know, I hope, you know, you have a blessed day or things get better, just something in general. But I'm going to read to you because I've been on one. I've been on one just because I am grateful and humble for where God is taking me. Uh, yesterday was, was not a good day. I don't know what's going, well, I do. Uh, spiritual warfare looks kind of different for some people, but the enemy always attacks our minds, our emotions, how we respond to things. And he was attacking me, my emotions so bad yesterday. I'm talking bawling, weeping, just just ooh, like like literally just anyway because i was about to say like somebody died but i do know like three people who passed away in the last week uh namely one you know my cousin paul and my mom's friend uh Bilal, and then uh brandy somebody that i have went to um elementary school with that i just found out um found out somebody else i went to school with his father passed like it's not a happy new year for everybody i, I know of four deaths in the last week like going into 2023 they going into 2023 with heaviness and grief and everybody happy new year in the green year it's going to be blessed and prosperous and they just got done crying all night like these are things that are important for us to realize so with that being in mind i have and i won't say that i've been dumbing myself down or dimming my light I, maybe i've just been turning the shade you know how you got the the light that kind of can get kind of darker as you turn the knob or or slide the button i could say that we as a people can be concerned with how people view the things we say and the things that we do now if they're not aligned with god well then we should be concerned about it but if they're aligned with god you know being able to be bold in your faith and bold in what you do it's not only going to help you it's going to help other people because sometimes you know we know that the word of god is a uh, two-edged sword so a lot of times it's not going to cut you on the good side Oh, blessings, prosperity. Yeah, everything's great. It's going to cut you on the bad side. Like, you know, your anger is, is horrible. You treat people bad. Your, your mouth, you're cussing like a sailor. Like, you need to put the bottle down. You need to put the blunt down. Like, the things that I heard uh, is what I'm sharing with you. But 
uh, the conformity as we conform to this world, you know, sometimes I realized I was just doing things just because it was normal, just because it was tradition, just because everybody else was saying it and doing it. It just seemed like the thing to do. It wasn't hurting anybody. Sure. Merry Christmas. But I'm not going to do that no more. I'm in a place where God is working with me to to say what I want to say instead of what what is normal or what everybody else is saying or what is the thing that we should be saying, right? So the happy new year thing, I just, I, I've said it, I've texted, and I ain't saying nothing about that. But I'm just going to read to you what God put on my heart to create, to send to people in response to happy new year. Now, this is under the cover of my ministry, cloud by day, fire by night, word fed, spirit led, if you're on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. Uh, but just, just listen to this real quick. So I'm going to show it to you. Can you see that? Oh, my screen is dirty. No, you cannot. I'm a poster. You just going to have to come follow me so you can see it. So blessed to see 2023. A new year means different things for different people. Be mindful that not everyone is happy going into 2023. Some people have had recent tragedy. Others still struggle with the same situations. Some transition into a season of prosperity because of their faithfulness, while others will welcome a new year with no change at all. God works in seasons, and those seasons may not always end when the year does. Focus on the work God is doing in your life each day, and the new will come in time. May your current season bring a better you. So I didn't quite know what I was going to talk about. I know God has put it on my heart. The Holy Spirit has to, when he's moving, to start dropping more videos, to start speaking the truth, to start saying what he would like to say to people. You know, and I've watched prophetic videos. I've watched things and I just sit back like, I got that gift. Because literally, I mean, I was in like my home clothes, like the chilling clothes. And I threw this shirt on, no makeup, no earrings. And, and it is just like, I need to speak. So as I stated in that, God works through seasons. And sometimes when the year ends, that doesn't mean that that season or the season that you're currently in, in has ended. So it is great to have a, a perspective of fresh and new and January 1st, because that is a big thing. We went through a whole year, some of us a whole year of crap you know, maybe suffering, things that God was trying to work in and out of us. But when we get to January 1st, it's like, great, fresh things, new things, prosperity, blessings, health. Well, it's not always the case because we reap what we sow. So the things that were sown in the last year are the things that we are getting ready to reap in this new year. So everything just doesn't reset just because we want them to. See, when you're in God, there's a, a, a process. You know, everybody always say, oh, it's levels to this. It's a process. And I'm trying to think of a new word, but it's just what it is. It is a work that he does in us, whether it's to heal us, uh, help us overcome grief and depression, uh, to get a new mindset. Maybe it's anger or financial issues or uh, just different things that we deal with in our lives that as we learn by experience and as we grow through these situations, being in God, it requires sowing the word and, and prayer time and intimacy with him so he can just talk to you, love on you, give you some things that you need in order to get through this season to learn what it is that he wants you to learn, to heal from what it is he needs you to heal from because it's all in preparation for your purpose. It's in preparation so you can operate in the gifts that the Holy Spirit has given unto you as a gift 
for other people. And it's not to say that if you're still dealing with the things that you're dealing with, that you can't help other people. Well, people go, well, I can't love. If I can't love myself, I need to love myself first. Well, Jesus loved us first. God loved us first. That's why he sent Jesus. It was self-denial because Jesus was like, Father, if it's possible, please take this cup from me. I don't want to go up there and be beaten and die, you know. But at the end of the day, he put his own feelings aside. He was still a person, even though he was he was God on earth. He was the son of man, the son of God. He still had fleshly feelings. And he got to thinking about it like, man, I'm about to go die in a few days. Like, and it 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 it, it did something to him. So, you know, that's self-denial. Everybody's talking about, you know, self-care and, and all this me, 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 self, self, self. I gotta take care of me first. But if we literally look at the life of Jesus, he practiced self-denial. He put himself aside for the sake of other people first. Think about that. Just just meditate on that. Soak that in real quick. Uh, but as we are growing in God, he anoints seasons for certain things. He gives us this time frame. He doesn't operate in time, but the seasons are, are blessed. They're anointed times to, to prepare or, or to sow or to reap. It's just like a farmer. He ain't going to sow in the season where he's supposed to be reaping because the conditions for the seed, for the growth of the seed, the soil, the conditions are right in certain seasons. And then as it matures underground, it goes through the seasons of maturity uh, uh, at the time that it's supposed to mature according to the weather, according to temperatures, according to just different environmental factors to bring about the best harvest. And God works the same way. So again, just because it's a new year doesn't mean our seasons have changed. You could be in the same situation that you was in on December 31st at 1159. It could be the same season. So now you have transitioned into a new year, but you're still in this same season. So just as we work through what God would have for us, oh Lord, let me tell you, let me stop right here. I wish y'all could see how I was yesterday. I talked to my mom. She said, oh, you're feeling better today. I mean, I was, I said, I wouldn't be good company. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I was good company with the cornfields, you know, uh, sitting, looking out, talking to God saying, am I supposed to be doing something like what is, I mean, it's just, it was a lot of things. I won't go into detail about that, but I wasn't in, uh, uh, the enemy was fighting me yesterday. Let's just put it that way. My emotions, he had heaviness on me. He had grief on me. It was so much that I just, I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to really want to pray or get in the word. Like it was just kind of a, let me be me. Let me be by myself. Let me be soaking in this. And I was in, I came home, like I went out one place that I had to go. And literally it was cloudy yesterday. So I was, as I was driving, I, I tried to find the lightest tinted glasses that I had. So I wouldn't like a, look like a weirdo. And I put the glasses on so people can see my eyes. Cause I ain't got no tint on my, on my front windows. And I don't want to look over somebody like, Oh gosh, like is she about to go commit suicide? Like we need to call somebody. Like I looked that bad yesterday. Um, but when I came home, you know, I wanted to soak, I wanted to get in just cause sometimes it's good though, to purge. I believe that even though I had that attack of emotion on me, it allowed me to, to shed some things and to leave some things in 2022, which is why I'm in this, this, power today uh thank you jesus of just boldness and 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 vision and seeing things and it's like i feel like i leveled up but yesterday it wasn't good so i came home and i sat in my recliner in my office and i'm just bald up i got my blanket and all the lights is off i got a little candle going and i'm just you know boohooing and I looked at the time and it was like 651, 650 something. And the Lord spoke to my heart and he's like at seven o'clock, you, you getting up. 
you get, get all of this out. You've been crying all day. Get it all out. Because at 7 o'clock, you're getting up. So I laid there and I remember I looked at, this was yesterday, y'all, uh, New Year's Eve, right? And this is how I was preparing. I was purging, uh, getting attacked. And I looked at the clock and, and it was like 7.01 and I heard the Lord say, get up, get up, get up, go start moving, start doing some stuff. You're not about to sit here. You're not about to keep doing what you doing. Let me look. I see something going on. Make sure everything cool. Okay. So I had to get up and I remember just, it's like, bam, it's over. Let it go. You did it. Pray, whatever, get up. And throughout the day. So I'm just going to tell this real quick. I did not mean for this video to be long, but I hope y'all listening. I, um, I had signed up for this webinar through Crossroads Career and it was about hope. And I wish I had my notes, but I'm not about to get up. But it was Dr. Kim Moore, who um, is part of the uh, uh, leadership, John Maxwell leadership team. And uh, her whole webinar, Kim, it was amazing. Uh, shouts out to Crossroad Career. Her, it was just laden with scripture about hope. Now, even though I did not want to read the word, I kept that on. She talked about a story of a young lady, uh, Joni, I don't remember her name, and she dived in 1967, had uh, dove into this uh, creek or river, and she didn't estimate how shallow it was and like kind of paralyzed herself. No, the use of not her, her, her arm, she couldn't use her arms or her legs. But the point of it is, is, Listening to that as I was driving was sowing word into me. It was allowing me to have the sword of the spirit around me, which is which is like it slays the enemy who's trying to attack you. But it wasn't coming out of my mouth, but it was still in my atmosphere. Are you with me? Are you with? I got so much to tell y'all, but I'm not about to make this this video long. So I had sowed that into me. So I. When I got home and God was telling me to get up, he was like, you need to listen to something, do something, get active. Because, uh, you know, the days go from sundown to sundown. So it was literally New Year's. It was like the, the New Year's at that point in time because the sun was down. And y'all, this, this year that we're in now, it's positioning us to be able to give, receive, but operate in our purpose through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let God work in and out of you the things that need to have quiet time, weekly time, set aside three hours if need be to cry, to purge, to pray, to praise, to allow God to do that work. But guess what? Now, when you go out into the world, now it's time for you to operate. Let him operate through you. Not to, yesterday, it was funny because when I go out, God wants me to be aware because sometimes he has me pray for people, speak to people, say this, do this. And I wasn't feeling it because I was in my emotions yesterday. And it's funny because I saw somebody and it looked like it may have been a ministering moment, but this is what I said to the Lord, because I look, I look like I've been crying. I, did, I didn't look the part. And I said, Lord, I don't, this is me. I'm in spiritual warfare. I'm about to hip y'all to some things. I said, Lord, I don't know whether that's a demon come to distract me or an angel or somebody else that you send to me for me to do a work, but I'm not feeling it right now. Like I'm not, I'm just, I'm not on it. I, and I told him this, like, it's like telling God, like, I don't feel like you operating through me right now. They may need something, but I'm in my own emotions. I'm in my own feelings. And even though I was, I was still aware, um, which is critical. You still have to keep that spiritual discernment and awareness, especially this year, because it has intensified. The spiritual warfare will intensify. The power of the Holy Ghost in the saints is intensifying as you stay close to God and you walk according to his purpose. And I'm not always going to sit up here and say blessings, prosperity, health, and everything. He's already provided that. That is in his word. Those are things that you stand on. Those are the words and promises of God that you speak and you declare to be so by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Christ that he shed on the cross that will always be not just in the new year but every day that you walk your christian walk in 
faith, by your faith, be it unto you. So those things will never change and never pass away. But when you are out and the enemy is attacking you, we have those days, but we still got to keep this keen sense. Now, I'm different from you and your purpose is different from mine. However, as we move forward, the winning of souls, the, the, the spiritual warfare, the purpose that God created you specifically for. Jesus was specifically created to die on the cross, to be born in a woman by the power of the Holy Spirit, to live a life up until the age 33, to die on the cross, to resurrect, be resurrect. Wait a minute, I skipped the part. To go down to hell and get the keys to hell and death and to come back up here and say, hey, you rolling with me? We got power. Let's go. And then he went back up and sat at the right hand of his father. So um, hold that thought because, oh my gosh, you see my, I don't have some grace. Okay. Now where did that go? Y'all, I'm going to get this. I may not cut this out the video. Um, I had to plug it in. There! Because it told me the battery was going low. Okay, so anyway, let me let me get even, put this a little back. Okay, so uh, where was I? Coach V. Word fed, spirit led. We eat the word. The word is, that's a whole nother video. Um, but anyway, so January 1st, a new year, not necessarily a new season, but the word, getting in your word, spending time with the Lord, whether you feel like you got it on point or not. This is how he works. He works through things. And then if you're not listening or if you're hardening your heart against the spirit or if you rather do what you want to do like that was me, hello, versus what God wanted me to do, um, certain things will happen. I remember there was a time in my life I always had flat tires. I always had car problems. This was going wrong. That, and I was like, what is it? What? And I wasn't really paying attention because I was too busy drinking and smoking. But at those, when I reflected, when I became sober, I reflected that those were times when God was like, hey, like things happen because they were consequences of my actions. I was reaping what I was sowing, but the, then the devil was also being a distraction through different people and situations and things. But those are the things that God uses as he's working his process in you to become more like Jesus, more loving, more caring, more humble, less prideful, these things. And I'm still on this path, but I'm going to share the things that he has imparted to me to share with y'all. That's just what it is. Uh, and it's not judgment. He said, for the word of God, you use it to help people. You lovingly correct people. You know, you use the word for correction, for reproof. Like these are the things that we do when we love and care for our brothers and sisters in Christ and for the people who are lost in the world. We give them the good news to say, hey, you ain't perfect, but Jesus died for you. Let's cleanse yourself of all unrighteousness. No, not cleanse yourself. He will cleanse you of all unrighteousness and say, hey, when you when you get up to heaven, when you get ready to plead your case, Jesus took it all. All that stuff that I was doing when I was drinking and smoking and in the club and da 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 He got it. I repented for it. I was a sinner. I gave it to him. That's it. But concentrate on your season. Focus on your season, your season. Everybody's seasons are not the same. Some have seasons of prosperity that they in. So those of us who are in a season of suffering and lack, we looking at the people in the season of, of, of prosperity and vice versa, and it just don't look the same. Well, their season is not your season. They're in the reaping stages. So it's just a constant cycle of sowing and reaping. And once you sow, then you go into a reaping season. You go into your harvest season. We have seasons of suffering where it seems like everything but the kitchen sink done came at us. Those seasons are builder seasons. They're strengthening your faith. You're trusting God so you can know exactly who he is, who his character is, and that he will never leave you or forsake you or abandon you in the mess we got to know that 
for where we're going, for what we're called to do, for the purpose that he ordained on our lives, whether or not you have an official church title or not, whether or not you got a doctor of ministry degree or not, you are still ordained and called in the body of Christ and the arm can't work without the leg and the leg can't work without the foot and the foot can't walk without the eye and the eye can't do nothing. Listen. I'm back. No, I'm just playing. I just feel I haven't done a video in a long time, but I hope you get something out of this video by the power of the spirit. Uh, I hope you can go. The scripture, one of the scriptures God has given me in my prayer time earlier today was Ephesians 5, 16, start with 15, but 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Uh, I could have woke up at seven, but I was like, oh, Lord, I'm tired. I want to lay back down. And then I woke up at 12. So I lost five hours when I need to be redeeming the time. We, we, we need to be intentional with how we spend our time on what we're sowing into ourselves, uh, whether it be Netflix, shows, music, like our capacity should get smaller. When, I, when I've taught before and I've had things before, I talk on um, uh, capacity and we have to be mindful on what we take in, what we absorb, what we sow into our spirit, man, in our eyes, in our ears, uh, because those are the things we're going to reap the fruit of. And if it's of the world, well, we're going to reap that worldly fruit. But if it's of the spirit, it's going to do a work in us where we can feel strengthened. We can feel more comfort. We can feel the, the supernatural power of God working in us to bring us into this place. Sometimes when I sit and watch movies, like I remember we were watching so many movies because almost every movie has violence in it and shooting. And we've become accustomed to that. And I remember one day like, I do not want to see another person die. Like, I just had this revelation watching a movie, like, I'm tired of seeing people get shot. Like, I think it was John Wick. I watched the John Wick trilogy, one, two, and three. And I was like, they murking people left and right with the sword, with the gun, with the... I, and I just got to this realization, like, fake or not, movie or not, I don't want to watch that. Give me, a like, a few days break. Like, and these are the things we have to be mindful of because... We can we can say it's all for the sake of entertainment and it's harmless, but anything that's against what 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 is in the word or what God says is pure, true, and holy, you sow in that seed. So it's your choice. I'm not judging, but just be mindful that that your spirit is going to reap the fruit of the seed that you sow into it, whether it be innocent or not, whether it be harmless to another person or not. So there are some things that is just really going to be drilled in in 2023. Some things that we just consider to be uh, um, harmless probably is the word, but just, oh, th that doesn't matter when we say this or when we put up a Christmas tree or when none of that matters. But God is like, hey, didn't I tell y'all the narrow path, the word narrow? I did not say it was like this. And I was on the path. I mean, I don't know if I'm on a narrow, narrow path, but it's like a funnel. Like, it's just going to keep getting smaller and smaller the more you go ahead. But sometimes we put our you know, foot over here on the right and on the left, and we doing stuff outside of the narrow path. Well, it's going to work for our good at the end of the day, but we're going to have to just go through the, the negative from that, too. So just be mindful of that. I know that may be my new word, but no, grace, grace and hope, uh, humility, winning these souls, operating in your purpose, but winning souls was the main thing that stood out to me. As the dev devil, devic, ooh, uh, as the devil becomes more strategic, we as God's soldiers need to be as well. That's why I said the people that I train, I'm training kingdom soldiers, Coach B, training kingdom soldiers with word fed, spirit led. And we are faith soldiers because we walk by faith and not by sight. And we're soldiers for Jesus Christ. So it takes training, discipleship, wisdom, the fear of the Lord, understanding of the word to go through this training.
And then that will bring spiritual awareness and the fruit in your life where you are a tree planted in the house of the Lord, glorifying him, which is our focus, right? Right. Don't be dim in your light. Don't put it under a basket, under a bushel. None of that. Let your light shine before men, the world, so that they may see your father. They may see the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in your face like they did Jesus. And when you walk in to some place, they're like, uh, mm, uh, who's that? What's different about them? I see I'm light skinned anyway. So you you probably on the video unless you light bright anyway. One of my students said that, Tiffany. Yeah, I remember that. But the light of the Lord. I hope y'all rolling with me in 2023, y'all faith soldiers. You with me. You with me. Your capacity. Quit taking in all this junk. Scrolling endless hours like me. me. I'm like, eh. Capacity. Redeem the time because the days are evil in all seriousness and urgency. For real. So follow me. Instagram. Facebook. At Word Fed. Spirit Led. YouTube. Uh, I may not put it on the screen. Maybe not. I, this was just a quick hop on video. But um, I appreciate all of you. Uh, let's close in prayer. Bow with me. My eyes will be closed. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I come to you with those who are listening uh, right now, those who will watch the video later. Uh, any way, shape or form, they come to the words that I have spoken in this video. I pray that it will bring glory to you, Lord, and that uh, it will allow them to draw closer to you and you will draw closer to them, that they will know the urgency of the season, that they will know that the work that you are doing in them to prepare them for their purpose, uh, for spiritual warfare, to minister to the lost, to help uh, edify the church and their friends and family and brothers and sisters in Christ around them, and that they will understand that the power of the Holy Spirit that worketh in us, that we not quench the spirit, that we not frustrate your grace, because the things that we cannot do on our own, you have already made provision to do for us, to get us through it, to heal us, Lord Jesus, to bring us into a place of power and authority where we tread upon scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy and by no means shall anything harm us where we declare and take back those things which were unrightfully stolen because you are a God of justice and you are a God of judgment. But we know you are also a God of love because we would not have the power if it were not for Jesus who you sent to us to die on the cross. And by his blood, we are healed. By his stripes, we are made new, new creatures where we walk in the newness of life. But there also is a process where we do what you command us, where we love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, but then we also love others as ourselves, which means sometimes we have to deny ourselves to show the love that others need. So today, January 1st, 2023, I bless all those that are listening, that have watched this video, and I pray that they will know you personally and that they will walk into the purpose that you have created for their lives protect them deliver them from the evil man preserve them from the violent man and allow them to have fruit and glory for your name's sake in jesus christ's name i pray amen 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 i don't think i'm gonna cut that out either i love y'all with the love of jesus christ be blessed and uh, when i see you we're gonna get into this word so, word fed, spirit led. Blessings.